Well, you may ask yourself, why do I have the windshield like this? It's not pretty. Follow along. Hey folks, welcome back. Well, to finish up wet sanding the roof, I took red outside and I washed the car for the first time in a very long time. I had to clear all the dust off. So great, right? So I got that finished up, but in the process of washing the car, and then I opened up the driver's door, I found a puddle of water on the floor. And I, my heart just sank. It's like, really? <laughs> where so here's what we did we took the car apart i mean took it apart took off the trim I mean, we had water leaking down took the wind lace off you know everything out i had water kind of seeping across here it was puddling up down here it was, and i traced it all the way up up the a pillar and it was coming from here on the windshield gasket running all the way down and then it's coming through here wicking all the way down and then puddling up so yeah i got parts apart in here so what was the problem well not enough weather strip adhesive on the windshield gasket yeah not enough now i just gone through and put some back in here put it back together and no it wasn't enough i got to do the entire lip all the way across so that's what happens if you're just if you don't get enough of that weather strip adhesive in there so what i'm gonna do is <laughs> i got another tube and clearly the, the way to fix it is Take the lock strip out, right? I'm gonna start from the passenger side to the driver's side, peeling the lip forward, laying a thick bead in there where it should be, and work my way down. And then I'm gonna put the lock, lock strip back in. And hopefully that takes care of the water leak. See how it goes. Let's hope that that big thick bead I pushed in here seals that all off. I mean, there was, I don't know why I didn't get enough in the gasket when I put it on before I put the windshield in, but I clearly didn't get enough in there. This time with the lock strip out and this peeled up, I, I put a nice bead all the way across. Sealed up, this should be good to go now. Now one thing I did this time that I didn't do in the previous two installs of the windshield and the rear glass was I actually used some uh, mineral spirits on my tool and it really helped slide that lock strip right into place nice and easy. So I 100% recommend using mineral spirits to assist you in putting in the lock strip for sure. So next up would be to roll it outside well, I'm going to wait for that to set up a bit. Roll it outside, get the hose out, rinse it off, see if we fix the leak. That's next. All right, let's see if we can't find some water leaks.
not good. Still got water coming in. Well, I fixed the majority of the water leak, but I still got water coming down here. And I've isolated from just spraying midway down the windshield in the corner. So I'm gonna have to pull the lock strip back out and kind of, looks like do a bead under the bottom edge. Because whatever it is, is leaking down inside the dash here. Really can't tell otherwise where it's coming from. Okay, what I ended up doing was pulling the lock strip back out, putting, and I had done a bead down here. I done put more on the outside here, peeled this back and put some inside. Squished it all in really good, good squish, and then put the lock lock strip back on. And now it seems fine. I water tested it real quick just before the uh, torrential rains hit outside. So I got the car back in the garage now. So the moral of the story is, <laughs> the moral of the story is don't be skimpy on the weather strip adhesive when you're installing a windshield, okay? Get two tubes, get three. You know, I was more worried about getting the stuff on the paint than it was about getting enough in the gasket, apparently. So, lesson learned. Use lots of the stuff. Why be chintzy now, right? <laughs> hey, smash the like button. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time.